So one of the things we discuss in my advanced framer course is how to do this multi-collection linking in framer. So I thought I'd make a quick video about that technique here. Now, what is multi-collection linking? We can imagine a blog like this one where we have posts and we have authors, but you want to be able to go into a blog post and then click on an author and see all the blog posts they've written. Now, in order to do this, you need two CMS collections in Framer. And there's a special technique to link them together to get this behavior. Multiple CMS collections is a pro Framer feature. Now you can still play around with this file which has two CMS collections and it should work just fine. But let's crack on and see how this works. So this file will be linked down below. But inside here, we've got a blog page. And inside the blog page, we have two collection lists for articles. This one filters for the featured blog post, and this one filters for the rest of them. These blog posts link off to the articles page, which is a CMS page. But you can see that all the authors are the same. We've just left them blank for now. There's also an authors page where we want to display all the posts by a specific author. But at the moment, it's just displaying all posts. And in the CMS, we just have some articles, but you can see they've got no author information. And then we've got a separate CMS collection for authors, which just has an image, the name, and a slug. So how do we link these two CMS collections? Well, in a perfect world, we'd be able to go over here and add a field that specifically referenced an author. But as of time of recording, Framer doesn't allow this. So we have to sort of hack it together using slugs. So the first thing we're going to do is go to authors and I'm just going to go in here and copy the name of this one. And then back in our articles, we're going to add a field for author. So make it plain text and we're going to call it author. And I'm going to make the default sandbag mid breed. And I'm just going to set it to text area and click away. And then I just want to grab Elizabeth Holmes, and I'm just going to make some of these written by her. Now we aren't done yet. The trick is we have to add another plain text field and we're going to select based on and we're going to choose the field author and let's just give it a name author slug. And what this will do is auto generate a slug for the author based on the author name we specified just now. So the annoying thing here is if you look at the bottom, you can see our author slug but it hasn't done what it does with normal slugs, which is lowercase it and add dashes between the spaces. And we basically need that because what we want is for this author slug to match the slug on the actual author CMS object. So if we go in here and just copy that, and we go back to our articles collection, and then we have to manually enter this value to make sure it matches the slug from the author's collection. So now if I click away, you can see it's updated to the right slug, but I have to go in and manually do this for each one. And this is what sucks about this approach, is it's super brittle. If I mess up this slug over here, because it's not linked to anything, the filtering we're about to do just won't work. It also means that when I add a new author to the author CMS collection, I still have to manually go into their name and their slug in the blog post collection. Now I'm pretty sure Frame is fixing this, but for now, just understand that this is a very brittle and error prone process. Okay, so we've handled the CMS side. Let's go link it up in the UI. So first up, I'm on the authors page. So we want all the blog posts in here to be authored by the same person. So the way we do that is click on this collection and we're just gonna add a filter for author slug. And we're gonna say equals, and then we're gonna match it to the current page slug. So we're gonna go set variable slug. So now that's just filtering out all the Elizabeth Holmes posts. But what we need to do next is go to the articles page and actually link off to that specific page. So right now we don't have an author specified here. And you'll notice that we want the author image. And in our CMS, the blog post only contains the author name, not the author image. So we need to pull this from the author CMS. To do that, we want to insert a collection. We're gonna go authors, and we're just gonna drop it in here somewhere. And we're gonna replace its contents with our little author. And I'm just gonna get rid of everything else. So let's remove this posts, this frame, and remove this stack. Okay, cool, now we just need to filter this collection list for the current author. So if we select our collection list and we add a filter, we're gonna select slug and we're gonna set equals and we're gonna match it to the author slug. Now that hasn't done anything particularly useful because we need to hook up our fields to the CMS. So we're gonna set this to be avatar and we're gonna set this text field to be name. But remember, we also want this author tag to be clickable so it links off to the authors page. So we're just gonna wrap this component in a link and then we're gonna say authors slug. So now when we preview this page, we can scroll down and click on the author 
and we get a list of their blog posts. But you'll notice that in the blog post card, we still haven't hooked up our author. So let's go do that. Okay, so we're in the blog post card component and we basically need to do the same thing we've just done. So we want to insert a collection list and we want it to be authors and we want to just replace this with our author. And we're going to hook up all the internal fields. So we can set this to avatar and we're going to set this to be name. And then we want to do the same filtering we just did. So select the collection list and we're going to add a filter. We're going to filter on slug and we're going to say equals. And then we're going to hook it up to a variable that will be passed into this component. So we're going to say create variable and we're going to call it author slug. Then we should give it a default value so that we can preview the filtering here. So we're going to give it a default value of Sam Rankman. Okay, cool. So now that that's all hooked up, we just need to go to our blog page and we're going to set author slug to be the author slug. And we're going to do the same for this collection list down here. So let's hook this up to author slug. You can see that it's updated with the correct authors. And lastly, we just need to do this on the authors page. So if we select here and go author slug, authors page slug, and they should all be Sam Bankman Freed. And then over here, they should all be Elizabeth Holmes. Okay, great. So now when I go into a blog post, I can click on the author and see a list of their posts. So that's a super quick rundown of collection linking in Framer as it stands right now. Again, they're probably gonna update this to be better because let's face it, this is pretty brittle. If you like this sort of thing, check out my advanced Framer course at advancedframer.com. This is just one of the many CMS limitations we talk about in the CMS lesson. But that's it for now. Catch you next time.